Hey there, it's Marielle, and today I want to talk. I want to give you some mindset minutes, something really quick. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what you do whenever you have a disgruntled client, because disgruntled clients are going to happen. They are part of being in business. So this is perfect if you are a, uh, a therapist, if you are a service provider, if you are even if you have. Um, even if you have a product actually, okay? So what happens is that when you are working with a client, especially in the consult, if you're consulting, coaching, therapist, anything like that, and you're trying to give them results, part of the whole process is them becoming account accountable. And accountability is so, so hard for an individual to have. So I'm sure you have a process laid out to, for them and they all of a sudden they come and at the end of your program or coaching and they are so pissed off at you and uh, totally unaccountable for what happened, right? So what, it, what happens here is that it makes you feel unworthy, it makes you question whether you should be doing what you're doing at all, it makes you question question um, your program it makes you question you know if, if, if you need to change things and what happens when that happens is it keeps you from from doing all the other things that you need to be doing with the best vibe with the most energy so what do you do so the first thing you want to do when you have a disgruntled client is you want to make sure you stand in your power and that you know that having this uh, type of experience is absolutely part of the process not only for the client but for yourself you have to understand that when somebody comes to you it's because they have an issue you know they have a problem they have a blind spot something that they are not doing in their business so um, it's obviously our job to make them aware of this but there's going to there's always going to be that small percentage of people that just can't get out of their way because taking accountability is so so hard. Hi Kanani, hi love. Taking accountability is so so hard and um and and they're simply not going to do it. So just expect that you're always going to have that small percentage of people that aren't gonna to wanna to be accountable, that just don't have the right mindset, okay? So stand in your power, that's number one. Number two, whenever you have a brand new client, set up the expectations. I love telling, I am a big results girl. I mean, that is one of my three pillars, giving my clients results. So I had to, I, 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 had to learn this a lot the, the hard way um, because like I said there's always that small percentage so start out a by setting the right expectations and telling your client from the very beginning that there's a very small percentage of people who actually don't get results and be honest with them tell them why they don't get results okay so when you set up that expectation your client is going to um, is going to be on the watch out for their own behavior, okay? And then the third thing that you wanna do uh, when you have a disgruntled client is do not say you're sorry. Part about becoming the happiest boss babe alive, actually the cornerstone of it, is being able to stand in your power. And standing in your power means that every word that comes out of your, your mouth is something that you mean you know so when we say I'm sorry you feel that way I'm sorry you're going through this even though I know it's ingrained in your brain because we are all ingrained with the customer is always right um, I don't believe that saying sorry is the right thing instead you can say something like I totally understand how you feel remember when we first started working together um, I told you that there's a small percentage of people who don't get results and the reason why is because change is hard change is difficult so I totally understand you know how you're feeling people want to feel understood so if you go at it this way they won't feel attacked and they will uh, they will start backing down they will start, cal start calming down then step into your heart step into into um, don't step into defense mode and step instead step into your heart and say okay so let's figure out how we can come up with a plan so that you can get results okay I believe in second chances so um, when a client does not get doesn't know how to get out of their own way and they invested in themselves through you you know it I always believe in coming up with a second plan for them okay so that's all I have for you today for you know I just wanted to give you some mindset love here and um, so that's pretty much it so go out there make it happen stay empowered and I will see you next week in some more mindset minutes all right talk to you soon peace bye